With a unique and innovative pole structure, this trekking pole pitch style backpacking tent is perfect for two backpackers or one backpacker that's looking for sprawling comfort in an ultra lightweight, very livable backpacking tent. This is the Marmot Nitro 2P tent. We'll take a look at all the features and what makes this tent so special. The first thing that stood out to me about this tent was the small pack size and the maximum livability that you get for the weight and for the size. This tent has sprawling room for such an ultra lightweight tent. You have a 47 inch peak height here, so definitely a lot of space to sit up if you need to spend time inside the tent. And just looking at the features here, the pole structure is really innovative and unique haven't seen something quite like this on a trekking pole style backpacking tent. Obviously you do have a trekking pole here in the front. The pole is not included. So this is meant to be um, taken with trekking poles, but it just uses one pole. So a lot of two person backpacking tents that I've seen um, use two trekking poles to set up, but this just uses one to pitch. I've got this pole set around 125, 130 centimeters, and it definitely needs to be about that tall. Um, anything under 130 uh, centimeters is gonna be too short to pitch this tent. So take that into consideration with your trekking pole setup. And there are also two poles included. There's a very short pole right here on the top. This gives you maximum livability inside the tent and so you have a lot of space above your head um, with this pole right here. It's a short pole, very lightweight aluminum DAC pole. And then down on the bottom at the foot box, you have one very short pole that gives you some space around your feet. So that's a really innovative design. Using minimal guy lines here, so we've got one right here in the front. This um, pitches the trekking pole and gives you some stability there. This is not a freestanding tent, so you do need to stake the four corners into the ground. So take that into consideration if you're in a really rocky area or in an area where um, it's gonna be hard to put stakes into the ground. But once you've got all the stakes and all the guy outlines staked out, um, you've got a really nicely pitched tent here. The materials here definitely keep the weight at a minimum. On the floor, you have 4D nylon. It's completely waterproof. It's gonna protect you from groundwater. You do have a bathtub style floor, and we'll get into the fabrics at the foot end of the tent, but you have a 30D nylon ripstop there, and that's also waterproof. So it's gonna protect you from splashes. And then up here in the top of the tent, you have no -a mesh. So it keeps the weight down. It also offers a lot of breathability here with this tent. So it is considered a three season tent in the coldest of temperatures. It probably won't perform very well, but definitely a lot of breathability for warmer weather. There are two doors right here on the front of this two person tent. And that's unique. Normally with such an ultra lightweight tent with a door on the front, you normally just have one door. And the way that Marmot has designed this is really smart. You've got your trekking pole in the middle right here on the front, and then you have your guy line that comes down the middle to support the trekking pole. The doors are on either side. So getting in and out of the tent is easy. The trekking pole is not in the way of the door. And also because you have two doors, if you do have two backpackers in there, you don't have to crawl over one another to get out. You have a door on your side. The other interesting thing about this door is that it's on the corner. So as opposed to just having a small door right here on the front panel, this door spans the corner of the tent, which offers a lot more of an open space to get in and out. So it actually, the door looks smaller than it actually is. When you're getting in and out of the tent, you have a lot of room. It's really easy to put your gear in and out and to crawl in and out of the tent. I'm gonna, get inside and take a look at all the features on the inside of the tent. I've got the door rolled back here. There's a really nice toggle, easy to use. You can roll back the other side of the door too. And like I said, because this door is on the corner, it makes it a little bit more open. And the door comes all the way up to the top. So uh, for such an ultralight tent, 
really easy in and out with the door. And the floor space here is pretty sprawling, again, for such a lightweight tent. It's 86 inches long, 52 inches wide, and you have a 47 inch peak height here. So if you think a standard backpacking sleeping mat is around 20 or 25 inches wide, you definitely have enough space for two backpackers and their sleeping pads and sleeping bag. You've got a nice vestibule in the front here. We don't have the rain fly on yet, but plenty of room to store your gear right in front in that vestibule. Some things to point out, you have a pocket here on either side to get gear up off the ground on the inside of the tent. There's a nice headlamp pocket right here on the top. It's kind of a diffusion material, so once you put your headlamp in there, it makes a really nice even light inside the tent. And you have a gear attachment point up here. There's a little hook so you can hang gear if you need to. The floor of this tent does taper in a little bit towards the foot, but the foot box is created in such a way that you do have enough space above your feet. You can move around and not feel super claustrophobic inside the tent. We've put the rain fly on the tent and the material here that protects you from the elements is lightweight 30D nylon ripstop. It's fully seam taped and fully waterproof, but they definitely have a lot of weight savings with that lightweight material. On the front of the vestibule here, you have six and a half square feet of storage space in the vestibule, so that's plenty of room for two backpackers and their gear. You've got a zipper right on the front of the vestibule that allows easy access in and out of the tent. And there's a nice storm flap right in front of that zipper. There are pieces of Velcro there, so you can batten that down. On this side of the tent, you have a small vent here. You can access that from the inside. So that provides breathability inside the tent, cuts down on condensation. But if you need to pull that in and batten everything down, you can pull that in from the inside. You don't have to get out of the tent to close the vent. And one thing I really appreciate about the zipper here is you have a double zipper. So you can open this from the top to have a little bit more breathability. Again, you do have that, that flap on the front, so you can have a little bit of breathability there inside the tent, and then you can just close that if it's raining a little bit harder. I was impressed by all of the different attachment points and the way Marmot has designed this. Um, for example, here on the front, the guy line for the vestibule matches up with the stake on the front of the tent. So there's a lot of overlapping and there's a lot of weight savings to be had there. Going around the tent, there are places you can stake out and guy out the rain fly. We don't have every point staked out right now. It's a nice day today, but if you do get into some windy conditions, I do suggest staking that out. Um, this being a non-freestanding trekking pole tent, stability is a little bit compromised, so you would want to stake those out if you're in some nasty weather. Moving down to the bottom of the rainfly, the rainfly doesn't cover the entire tent. It stops about three quarters of the way down, and you do have a waterproof material in the foot box of the tent, so there are really obvious points where you can attach the rainfly to the tent body. There's three points on the end there, and they attach really easily, and that also provides a lot more weight savings. You don't have to have extra stakes to stake out the rain fly on the back. You don't have that extra material that goes around the tent. So that's a really smart design that just adds to this ultra lightweight tent. A custom fit footprint can be purchased separately from this tent, and that just adds to the durability of the floor and protects from groundwater on the floor. Marmot also includes a stuff sack for this tent, and this stuffs down to be really small. With those two very small poles, you have minimal weight there. The stakes are lightweight, and you have a minimal amount of stakes as well, and uh, the rain fly stuffs down to be very small as well. So the pack size here is really great for backpacking. Uh, the weight just around uh, two pounds, five ounces, so excellent backpacking option for two campers or backpackers looking to take this tent out into the backcountry. It's the Marmot Nitro two-person backpacking tent.